Let's go ahead and get this RTX 3060 installed. This is a LHR version. Uh, at least it should be. I doubt it's not LHR. If it is, then great, I got a good deal, but I was not expecting it to be one. So um, either way, let's go ahead and get this uh, all peeled off. And we got a couple of these rubber grommet things. And let's get this guy out of here. Yeah. Uh, that's so satisfying. Alrighty. There we go. So now this guy's ready to go ahead and get popped in. So I did turn off my power supplies here. And as you can see, I already have this riser uh, right here. Let's see if I can record through the beams. That would be cool. Uh, all right, doesn't seem too bad. So I already have this riser uh, powered up and plugged in. Uh, now I'm just gonna go ahead and get this uh, graphics card plugged in here. And so, go ahead and click that in. And there's a little tab on the back that I go ahead and I tighten up. And now this thing should be ready to go. So what I'm gonna do here is, uh, forgot to unscrew this guy. Alrighty, so let's go with this right here. Oops. So I don't know why that's not focusing, but there we go. So I'm gonna pull this guy out a little bit and got my trusty dusty screwdriver here. And we're gonna go ahead and screw that in. Probably not too tight, but just enough. Now that we have that, I'll get my second screw here. And we're gonna screw it down into here. And so what I usually like to do is that I get this guy slightly tight, and then you unscrew this bad boy right here, get him loose, push this over, and then I tighten this guy up. And we go ahead and tighten that. Alrighty, so that's there. And now I've got a power plug right over here. And I can go ahead and get this plugged in up here. Man, it's so hard to do this with one hand. Um, there we go. And make sure it's all clicked in there. Pretty good. There we go. Alrighty, now we can go ahead and power this thing on. So I'm gonna push it back, turn on my power supply number one here. So that's on. And turn on power supply number two. Now we give the button a little click. And that should turn right on. And so that's spinning, which is a good sign. And there we go. Now just go through the whole setup over here. It's not much, it should just automatically detect it since I'm still using nice hash.